Cellbrite is a digital forensic company that provides tools to various law enforcement agencies and even enterprise companies. Google tells us that these tools allow the customer to extract, analyze, and manage data from mobile devices, computers, and the cloud. But some of these phones are going to be more secure than others. And we see these tools used most often by law enforcement agencies who are trying to break into a phone and extract that data from it. But there's a new leak that suggests Google's own Pixel OS is actually more vulnerable to these tools from Cellbrite than if you were to install Graphene OS. Let's take a look at the table. From what I have read, this leak came to us from an anonymous individual who was able to quietly sit in on a virtual Cellbrite briefing. During that Microsoft Teams meeting, we're told that this screenshot was shared among the participants. And in this image, we can see a table that allegedly shows how vulnerable Google Pixel phones actually are. But it seems as if the security-focused Graphene OS firmware is so popular these days that the folks over at Cellbrite decided to add it to their support matrix table. Here's what the table tells us. We are given four individual rows, one for the Pixel 6 series, one for the Pixel 7 series, plus the Pixel Fold and the Pixel Tablet, one for the Pixel 8 series, and then one for the Pixel 9 series. Then in the table, we have columns for the various states that an Android phone can be in. So there's a standard operating system while it is in BFU state, which is before first unlock. Then there's a column for the standard operating system in an AFU state, which means after the first unlock, after a reboot. And finally, we have our third column here, which is for the standard Pixel OS operating system when the phone is in an unlocked state. Even when it's in the before first unlock mode, Cellbrite claims to be able to get the data on all of those. And they tell us that brute force is not required here. As we move over to the after first unlock, which is less secure than before first unlock, again, we have yes all the way down the column. So each of the phones listed here, Cellbrite claims to be able to access that data in the after first unlock state. So it makes sense that with Pixel OS, we're getting yes all the way down the board again because Cellbrite claims to not have any issue getting that data. But with Graphene OS installed as the firmware instead of Pixel OS, according to this table, as long as you have the current security patches installed, then your data is said to be safe because they can only get to that data if the user has an old security patch installed from before late 2022. Now the Pixel 8 series seems to be wide open because this table is not listing any security patches here like the other. And as far as the Pixel 9 series, at least from what this table tells us, as long as you're in the before first unlock state, then they do not have the tools currently to get into the data. As we move over to the after first unlock mode, we see the same thing. They can get into the Pixel 6, Pixel 7 series phones, but only if you have older security patches installed. Again, we have the Pixel 8 series that's wide open and the Pixel 9 series that's closed off. And last up, when the phone is completely unlocked, yes, Cellbrite claims they are able to access the data up until late 2024 security patches for the Pixel 6 series, Pixel 7 series, and Pixel 8 series. So if you have current 2025 security patches installed, then that will not be an issue, even if your device is unlocked. And lastly, again, we have the Pixel 9 series that is keeping all of that data extremely safe.
But again, only if you have Graphene OS installed. There's been a lot of talk lately about how Graphene OS is the favorite mobile operating system for criminals, which to me is like tying the Signal application to solely criminal activity. Just because you have Graphene OS installed, that doesn't make you a criminal. Just like using the Signal app for communications doesn't mean you're talking about illegal topics. It just means that you value privacy and you'll do what you can to prevent that data from getting into the hands of big tech or anyone else for that matter.